the other sun. H was trying to break through the fog. In the distance, there were vague outlines of something that resembled a factory. Factories always made him feel depressed. He felt the spleen crawling under his skin. A dog howl was coming from somewhere, accompanied by sad chords. The sound scattered the fog and awakened him. As he was coming to himself, he noticed that he could still hear the dog. He turned to the other side and saw a blonde young man singing something and playing with old guitar strings. The young man raised his head toward him and smiled. He had clear blue eyes. Are you? You probably see that I am. It's impossible, said H excitedly. I thought a dog was howling. They often tell me that. Still, they love when I sing. I love it too. I know, that's why I came, replied the blonde young man named Kurt Cobain. I can't come to myself. Your songs, they mean a lot to you and they saved you. Right? Yes, how do you, you're mocking me, said H, confused and almost offended. Excuse me. I am just kidding a bit. You must have met me well through all those interviews, shows and books. I sure have. It's not like I personally know you. But it's not far from it. Yes, H laughed. But you are. Dead? I am. In a way. The world misses you. You could have stayed a little longer. There was no need. I got tired. Just like you. Maybe. A bit. Wait. I need to have some coffee. I do not understand anything said H, getting dressed as he walked. Do you want coffee? I cannot remember if you liked it. I've never been much of a coffee drinker, but sure, why not? With or without sugar? Without. I did enough drugs. Coffee is also some kind of drug. Make it all ready. I will do what I do best. Cobain returned to singing in the guitar. H stood pensive next to the stove. He would occasionally turn back, gazing at the unusual guest. His favorite musician was there, in the flesh, and he played an unknown melody. What are you playing? It's impossible I've missed that. Something new. I've been working on this song for some time now. I'll call it- Where do you work? Where did you even go? H interrupted him, pouring coffee into cups. To the purest place ever. Heaven? Not really. Is God there? There is a sun. At least it reminds of this sun. It's milder than the normal one and you do not need any protection. It can only harm evil people. As soon as they kick the bucket and go over there, the sun burns them. I always said that the sun is the only deity I can worship, no matter how harmful it was. In the end, no sun, no life. Does it somehow communicate with you? H asked. Yes. When it wants to tell you something, your spirit feels at the same moment. As do the spirits of others. There are no lies there. There is no need. All that bothered and tormented you on earth, it's all gone. Cobain took a good sip, placed his coffee aside, then took the guitar back into his hands. How does all this work there? Do you fly or something? Like angels? No, no. We sit on the clouds. Really? Yes. We are divided into two groups. Happy and unhappy spirits. Then what, you just sit there? Everyone does what they are best at. I, of course, play and create. I've made another ten albums. I cannot record them there, understandably, but I often play. Once a month, both groups meet and exchange experiences. H was nervously walking up and down with coffee in his hands. Play some more, he suggested after a short walk around the room. Listen, said Cobain. I came for you. The task of unhappy spirits is to follow similar ones and, once in ten years, offer a chosen spirit to come along, if he is tired of everything. What is the task of the happy ones? Are you happy? I'm not. 
then don't ask me anything about them now. You will meet them, then talk as much you want. The main question is, will you come with me or will you stay fighting? I'll stay fighting. They both burst into laughter. Let's go? Let's go. The other son was waiting for them.